So in this video we're going to be going through the new LG version 3.0 advanced workstation software for the LG DR systems. So we're at the login screen right here and we'll get logged in. And as soon as you log in this is your main work list screen. You can see you're presented with uh, a, a slew of indicated, indicators. You can see you're presented with indicators across the top that just sort of give you a quick look at your system and how it's operating and how it's functioning at this moment. So you can see here across the top we've got the modality work list is connected, your packs is connected, local storage is showing how much uh, hard drive room is remaining. This tells you what type of detector you're connected to. If it were to be a wireless detector it would show you your battery life and this shows you your connection status. So everything's good, panel status is ready. So if you're not familiar, Modality Worklist is referring to um, the connection between your, uh, your DR acquisition station and your EMR or your practice management system. So the orders that are created at the, uh, at the Modality Worklist level are sent over to this machine and they build into this work list right here. So if you had four or five different orders come through, you'd see four or five different patient studies lined up right here. And the benefit of that is you come in and you select on them and you can begin your study without having to type in the patient's name, birth date, sex, study description, etc. So we can see here that that's connected. The PACS is connected, so the PACS connected just means that once we're finished with our studies here, we end the exam and they send directly to your archive. And from there, you can look at them on different viewers um, in, your, in your practice. So what we'll do here is sort of simulate um, setting up a new patient and assuming we didn't have modality work list. So if we were to do that, we would come down to the bottom left corner and select create work list. We assign a patient ID, a family name, say John Smith, go to the birth date, highlight the year, type in the year, tab over, type in the month, and then select the birth date. So now you can see here that the birth date's been changed. We've got sex preferences, male, female, other. We'll go with male, study description, we'll say chest. The uh, referring physician field, now this is a learning field, so as you type in new doctor names, it'll build this list so you can just actually select it off there instead of having to uh, type it in each time. The operator is the same way if you have different operators. This will create a learning field as well. Now we'll click next. So here we're at the, uh, the exam view. So there's a few different ways you can build your exam. You can use the, uh, the anatomical drawing here and select the different body parts and as you see this changes the views and the parts that are, uh, that are highlighted. So we can come in, we can look at the pelvis, or you can, if you're going to be doing just uh, spine work, you can look at the spine. And you can build your study this way. L spine, we say AP, extension, flexion. These are all the, uh, the views selected. If you want to get rid of any of them, select them again. The other way you can do it is called OCS view. And this is um, a feature that works in conjunction with your modality work list. It sends over procedure codes from your, uh, from your modality work list. So if I click on OCS view, and let's say we were going to do a, uh, a foot. I type in foot. These are the assigned views. So these, this is already in here. If I were to click start, this would just create a, uh, an exam for me, and I'd have three views in the exam. So that's another way you can do it. Um, and there's a lot of different pre-programmed um, procedure codes in the software that you can use, but we can also help you build more. So you know, we can fully customize this to your taste and to your workflow. So if I click start now, you'll see we've got our chest, we've got our PA and our lateral. If we look up through here, this is kind of the presets. So I can say marker type, I want to do a left marker up in the top left and I want auto collimation turned on. So at this point, I'm ready to take x-ray. This is a, uh, the panels are AED, which means automatic exposure detection. There's no hardwired interface between the panel and the generator. It's basically just looking for, um, for the energy from the generator to make the exposure. So 
at this point because I'm in a demo system I have to press a button to make this uh, this exposure um, happen but in practical use at this point this uh, little radiation button would be turned amber and I could just uh, make the exposure and the image would come up the image up time is less than five seconds to have a processed image now you've got a processed image in your viewer and you can see that this um, sort of fuchsia square here is the auto collimation now I could just double click inside here and it would uh, it would invoke that collimation for me or if I want to change it at all myself I can tighten it up double click inside and now I've made my collimation uh, let's see so there's a lot of different functionality in this viewer some of it is also on your mouse so if you wanted to play with uh, window level panning or zooming you don't really need to touch these buttons here your right mouse click controls your window and level so if you just go up and down left and right you'll see that the brightness and the contrast changes if I roll the mouse wheel now I'm zooming up into the into the image more and if I click on the left mouse button and around inside of that zoom you can do flipping you can do rotating you can turn the image every which way you could ever want um, 360 well, of course that's not going to work too well with this but 360 is a good option for extremity work we can do free text so we say test we can make that font bigger or smaller we can move it around let's get this at least looking like something again so if you get to the point where you've actually manipulated it so much that you don't want to try to get back to where you were you can hit the reset button and it takes you back to square one now at this point if you want to do different uh, shuttering we can just click on the square and drag it over the image double click inside and you're uh, you're back to, to where we were after we did the collimation so let's see the other thing we can do is play with image processing on the fly so this strength chart here so normal is the default for image processing if we wanted to let's just make this a little darker so we can see if we want to hit it with a, a softer algorithm you see how it sort of softens up the edging there you can see a little bit more of the soft tissue now if I were to go to the other end of the spectrum and hit the hard processing you see we have a lot more detail here and you can see a lot more of the edging and a lot more of the fine detail so these are ways to just sort of uh, manipulate the image processing like we kind of say on the fly whereas a lot of image processing is going to make you go into uh, you know a back door in the software and play with sliders and uh, and manipulate things and it might be kind of cumbersome so kind of a nice little tool to know about so once we've got our image we're happy with it we've QC'd it we're, we're good to go and we decide okay we're not going to take this second image we don't need it we can just end review and once we end review we go to the work list and now we've got a couple different indicators to let us know how successful we were so at this point we can take a look over here and the green check mark means that the image that the the study is complete the blue arrow means that the image was sent to PAX and at that point you're finished with your exam